Welcome, everyone is a Samsung Galaxy A9 from 2018 and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So starting off we're gonna begin with the dark mode which just kind of turns the entire UI into just a darker mode. So let's go into settings and from there under the display you'll find night mode and when you enable it you can see everything goes basically into this dark theme. And that also includes your notification panel and also um, majority of the apps that are pre-installed. As you can see, uh, not all of them it looks like are supported, so Google or Play Store isn't. Um, but contacts should be uh, messages also. Uh, so basically all the Samsung uh, designed apps will be supported by this, while um, majority of the apps that you probably install will not though. But still, it's a nice feature. And also, because it's a Super AMOLED display, um, it doesn't actually need to put as much effort into lighting the device. So with uh, everything being basically black, it saves on the battery as well. Not by much, but still, just a nice, um, just a couple, maybe percent over the entire device, uh, like life battery life. So now moving on, we're gonna go into the gesture navigation now this one isn't necessarily the best one uh, but it's still i would say a little bit better than having the uh, buttons that take up space and just kind of feel outdated at this point um, so to get it changed let's go into the settings again and then again under the display now i will also disable the night mode so it's, it looks better on the video uh, personally i find it uh, white one looks better on the video, so that's the, way, that's the reason why I'm changing it. But from here, let's enable the gestures. So from the display, let's scroll down to navigation bar. And you have the full screen gestures. Now all it does really is removes the buttons like you have right here above and makes them into a sliding one. So still you slide from the side where, where you want to actually whatever you want to perform. So if you want to go back, uh, back was on the right side. So you swipe on the right side, as you can see right here and goes back. Middle is home. And then this is recent on the left side. So it kind of keeps it still in the same position. Just instead of having buttons, you have uh, this sliding bars. Now they look like they disappear in certain instances, like on your home screen. Um, just close this. Um, now on a exactly Samsung, so it looks like just some kind of Samsung Pay stuff. Um, not sure. I guess probably there's a way to disable this. Um, so that's kind of in a way right here. But I assume if you disable it, it won't be bothering. Uh, but as you can see, so here you can't really go back. Uh, so it doesn't really show any back button. Uh, although recent would be nice, and the red is actually it still works. It just is not visible on here, as you can see. Okay, so moving on, we're going to go into the always on display, uh, which you can enable again through settings. And well, once more under the display. So let's go to the display and then. Actually, my bad, it wasn't always on display, it was in uh, the lag screen. And in here, it's gonna be always on display somewhere. And the red is on the top. So you can check that on to enable it. And from here, you can also set what it's showing. So you have uh, home button and clock. You can have only clock, only home buttons. And then you have also additional things. So display mode, uh, tap to show. So when the display is off completely, you can just tap on it once and it will turn on the, the, the uh, ambient display. And Show music information, that is basically only when you're playing some music, it will display, for instance, a song and it will be, I, I believe you can actually change it from there. And yeah, so now if we lock the device, tap on it and it brings up the always on display. So it looks like I can't really unlock it like that. So yeah. Um, it's just a nice little thing that you can, for instance, use. Uh, I would say best use of it is at night when you're 
when you want to check uh, what time it is so you don't actually have to turn on the display just tap on it and there's this super faint text and doesn't really blow your irises with just light so just a nice one now moving on we're gonna go into the pop-up view uh, which I would consider to be a little bit better than the um, split screen and what it allows you to do is just open up a window on your screen of specific application and it works with every application unlike um, unlike the um, the split screen so number one let's, uh, let's go into recent and pick any app that you want and what you want to do is then tap on the icon and you have the open and pop-up view so you tap on that and there we go it opens up a small version of that window which you can resize move around as you can see I don't want to grab it so I can resize it there we go so you can make it really small if you want to and works with basically every app so you can even open up YouTube listen to music and have it kind of in this small view and just get it out of the way like this and then continue to do other stuff and it won't close unlike for instance split screen when you open up an unsupported app it would actually close uh, the split screen and then bring up the app that you try to open up now unfortunately if you go home and you're using YouTube it will minimize it to this little app head and like uh, for instance messenger says and when it minimizes YouTube to this app head it will pause the music so to bypass this if you want to have it open and play music and actually leave an app what you want to do is just go back and go by going back it keeps the app open uh, but closes the other one so yeah and then moving to, to the last option that I wanted to show you would be the slide down for notification panels so right now if you slide down you will get up tray slide up you also get up tray so basically whichever way you slide on the display it opens up your up tray and i don't really think you need it both ways and if you want to open up notifications you have to go straight from the top uh, which for a bigger display and some people might have smaller hands um, it's kind of hard to gain go all the way and just pull that down so you can change it by going into the settings and from there we're gonna go on to the display scroll down to home screen and in here somewhere below we should have swipe down for a notification panel right here check that on go back and now as i'm gonna slide up slide down from as low as i can as you can see it opens up the app tray or not update the notification panel my bad and that's basically how you can up, open up the notification panel without actually having to go from the top and update is still accessible by sliding up like you would normally do before so just a nice way for you to have easier access to the notification so that would conclude all the tweaks and tricks that i want to share and if you found any of them helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and thanks for watching